Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I call Mean Variance Moments Mode of Distributions. And here we're going to derive some moments of a Burr distribution, and we're also going to derive the inverse Burr distribution. So let's jump right in. The, the PDF, the density for a Burr distribution is this. There's two unknown parameters, C and K. It's, you know, C, K, X to the C minus 1 divided by 1 plus X to the C raised to the K plus 1. Uh, variable and parameters all have to be positive. So first let's prove that it is a density or a PDF. So we integrate the density over its domain, 0 to infinity, and then this is the density. So what we're going to use is we're going to let u equal 1 plus x raised to the c, du is this, dx, and then we plug, so this piece is here, that, um, we'll just, we'll plug in here and we get u, and this is a standard integral. Oh, look at the limits, so we plug in infinity, that goes to infinity, we plug in 0, and u goes to 1. Now. I like to think of this as taking it up, so k times u raised to the minus k minus 1, and then you add an exponent, divide by that, and you get this, minus u to the x minus k. Evaluate infinity in there, it goes to 0, and then it's minus this, and minus and minus is positive, evaluated at 1, you get 1. So it is a density, it's a probability density. Now let's look at the mean, which we'll call... Uh, mu1, so it's the first moment, it's expected value of y, x, I mean, so that that's what this x is. You take x and then take it times the density. Now, I've rewritten it a little bit, I've kind of pushed things aside, because this is end up going to be the differential. So if you, if you combine 1 plus x to the c raised to the k minus 1, and this is, you know, and this is raised to the squared multiplying those you get this back but this is the we're going to let y equal x to the c 1 plus x to the c so dy is equal to this which is what this piece is here now here we can back solve for x to the c which is y divided by 1 minus y and we add 1 to both sides we get this that's important so this is dy but we're going to we're going to put this here, and for here we have x to the c, so we raise both sides to the 1 over c, and then we just get x, and that's what we'll put there, so we get this. Now, we can you know, take the exponent in, invert, and multiply, and then this we can raise up, and it becomes this. And this looks like a beta distribution, you know, y raised to something, 1 minus y raised to something. Uh, now, one of the restrictions is that k minus 1 over c is positive, but if we had the right constants out front, this would integrate to 1. So we multiply by constants, divide by constants, and then this goes away, and these are the constants that we multiplied by. Well, this is, you know, a beta function this piece here. So it's k times this beta function, and that's it. And this is what you see in the literature. So this is the first moment. Now, to calculate the second moment, it's really a rinse and repeat, so mu2 is the expected value of x squared. That's what this piece is. And then the rest is the density, but I separate it out because this is what dy will be. Um, we're going to use the same transformation, y equal to x to the c, 1 over over 1 plus x to the c. So we we use these techniques up here. You know, this piece was here, but we need x squared. So instead of solving for x, we solve for x squared. So this is 2 over c, you know, y divided by 1 minus y. That's what goes there. And then we get this. And then you can, you know, you can take everything to the top and we get this piece here. So the exponent is 1 plus 2c minus 1. This is k minus 2c minus 1. This has to be positive. That's one of the restrictions. This is always positive. 
But this again, this looks like a beta distribution. So if we had the right constant out here, we could multiply and divide. And then with the, the constant that we would need is this beta, you know, 1 plus 2 over C, K minus 2 over C times K. And this is it. That's the second moment. So then the variance is easy. The variance is the second moment minus the first moment squared. And then so we just take this and put it in here, and then we take the first moment and squared, and that's the variance. Now, let's calculate the median. Now, the median is, this is the density, so you integrate it from 0 to some value m, and it has to equal 1 half. And then that's the M that makes this true. That's the median. So when the step here, we let U equal 1 plus X to the C. So this is very similar to what we did on page 1. So I'll skip some of the details. So it goes to here. And then we integrate that and we get this. And then we evaluate it at 1. Oh, right. Because M, put in M, you get 1 plus M to the C. That's what goes here. You evaluate at zero, we just get one. So that's why we're evaluating this. So then you plug in this piece here, and you get this. Don't forget that minus sign. And then it's minus this minus, which is plus. Plug in one, you get here. Now this is equal to one half. So my mindset is if you take this over, then subtract the one half, then, then you can uh, multiply this by minus one over k, and notice this is positive 1 over k, because this was 1 half, right, when we subtract it. So it was 1 half, but then you take the 2 to the top, and then that's how it becomes positive. This is subtracted over, um, and then we div uh, multiply by 1 over c, and that's m. Now, to derive the inverse Burr distribution, this is how you do it. So this is the, this is the Burr distribution. We let y equal 1 over x. And then the density of y is the inverse Burr distribution. Some people call it a type 3 Burr distribution. Back solve for x. The uh, derivative of x with respect to y is minus 1 over uh, y squared. The Jacobian is the absolute value of that. So it's positive 1 over y squared. But you can just take the y up and make it y to the minus 2. So then the density of, or the inverse Burr distribution, is this. So you, you plug in 1 over y, where x was, so that becomes right here and here. And ck times absolute value of the Jacobian, you get this. Then you can combine things and simplify. And then for some reason they like to take this to the top. So this is it. This is the inverse Burr distribution. All right, well, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.